Hello there, my name is Richard. The first time you see my channel, use review cartoon series, anime series. So, something completely random. I thought it would be a fresh impression of Ghost uh, Force. And this is based on a company called Zack Heroes, Zack Entertainment, or whatever Zack part you heard of, because they known for many different names, but at the very end, they known for just Zack. This company basically known for making Miss Ladybug and Cat Warner the animated series and they have a very unique style of kind of animation because they usually focus on superheroes but their stories are sort of unique but at the same time copying and paste knowing that every time they make a new anime series I have a good idea what they're trying to do off of the gates because every time they make a superhero they never really explain anything it's more like observe the characters if you like the characters you probably like the whole show and that's how they work that's why uh, miss ladybug power play and many others they make in fact even more coming will be something similar like uh Ghost Force. But Ghost Force, I wasn't sure what to expect because yeah, I already know what's going to come out. But it kind of surprised me first because when you see the first time the images, you're really not sure what you know. It's something like kind of Ghostbusters. That a bunch of kids who hunt down ghosts, and that's it. But I keep watching this series, at least the first three or four episodes. I was wondering, wait a minute, this is sort of falling between Danny Phantom, uh, Ghostbusters, but almost like Pokemon. And I was sort of surprised this weird combination of this sort of ideas mixed with Ghost Force. And it actually sort of worked because it shows you these three main characters called Andy, Mike, and Lid are basically the chosen ones or accidental become superheroes. We really don't know because the show never explained it. It's like we follow them in between their lives. They sort of accidentally see their story. And that's what kind of Zack does the best in their own anime studios. Just let you sneak peek their normal lives. And the fact you also have other characters like the main teacher who teaches you how to hunt ghost called Miss Jones that she could be a half ghost, half live human because the show once again never really explains because you just see her design, you see her one in her hands sort of ghostly, the other hand fully alive and her hair so sort of glowing but the show never explain anything. It just give you more intrigue and wondering why she's like that, how she connected with the kids why she chose them to hunt ghosts and why ghosts are basically messing around with people in new york and that's the thing it keeps driving you to watch the series that sort of curiosity but at the same time all the characters are sort of likable but at the same time you could actually say they sort of one dimensional for right now but you at least understand their personality enough to be okay i like them i like to follow them and see all the chaos pursues them stopping the ghost and i have to mention the action is incredible zack animation always does great action they never disappoint every little idea just works but the only problem is i kind of wish to be more creative with the ideas with the ghost and how the kids stop them but they do but at the same time they do it as how the story demands what i mean is and Zack Entertainment always tell the stories just sort of a formulaic way, but give you little facts or little information in between each episode. Little things they didn't show of the last episode, how they catch a ghost, where they go, how the ghosts develop, or how the kids use their special abilities. Because each ghost, I mean each ghost, each kid have this sort of, they basically kind of weaponized ghost power, one of basically it's all plasm, the other one kind of frozen, the other one is just sort of missed. Each one of them have their limitation and skills what to do, but it's the only interesting way is how the kids' imagination is the limit of their powers. They're quite powerful, but only have the sort of time limit and the creativity of how they use it. In other words, it's sort of Green Lantern sort of power that depends how creativity they have is how powerful they really are. But it's something that makes it more interesting because it depends what type of ghost they actually face. And this is the part I was sort of afraid watching the first couple of episodes. It's the fact it sort of ended a war each episode because 
Zach has the habit of this company just over exaggerating the villains to be this powerful. You have to stop it before they destroyed the whole world, or at least the whole city. And that is sort of tiring because Miss Ladybug does this all the time of that series. And the point is, is that just copying the same idea over and over. And I have to report on this first couple episodes they sort of do that at least the first two episodes but later on they go more creative like episode three or episode four i don't remember which episode it was that that's a ghost who gets scared and shrink people and that's the whole point of the ghost fighters is how to figure out how to defeat the ghost but at the same time how to get to some big what the tactical way to take it to the proper way and i thought that's sort of interesting because they do this every other episode being more creative how to tackle the ghost and i think that's part of the fun of the first couple episodes the animation oh my god the cgi of zach always was perfect always that well fluent well paced well everything because zach does not disappoint in this part also if, in fact you compare this to dreamworks tv series all the anime series they do they always cheap out in the uh, cgi zach doesn't zach always give you what you wanted the perfect animation perfect characters perfect kind of creative ideas. even this feels sort of copy and paste they always try to do something enough differences to make it unique now let's talk about pacing this is the thing that sort of shocks me a uh, ghost fighters actually has great pacing because compared to the other shows zach has to have it to spill up dialogue that's so crazy that you have to pay attention very closely to hear every conversation this uh ghost fighters doesn't it's very slow very calming it feels chillax and that's the that surprise me i wasn't expecting this i was i was expecting something like like this making sentence like quickly no it's just so normal so chill you can listen to all the conversation and just interpret it what they're trying to do in other words and that's all what I, that's why i just enjoy it's something i feel all the experience they have doing the rest of the shows delivered right here all the lessons they realize okay maybe do a little bit slow maybe a little bit more better action maybe more fluent a little bit of everything they learn improved about the show now the question is you have 52 episodes will be this good continuing the series i have no idea i just watched the first couple of episodes but i hope they do now i have nothing really else to say just one question do you see the first couple of episodes do you like it do you hate it tell me down below and let me know i really got nothing else to say just thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day bye